Hello everyone and now welcome to another video for Warcraft Arc Light Rumble. Don't know why that spotlight keeps on turning off. I'll just keep on going. Um, I am in the closed technical alpha still and playing through the game. Haven't spent a dime. And I will say the progression really slows around 31 skulls. Now, um, for those guys who don't know what the skulls are, the skulls are well, these guys right there. 31, or thir every time you beat a stage, on the world overview map you gain a skull so it's a quick way to see where you are in the progress of the overall game and i will say after 30 skulls after you start unlocking talents the game does turn into a bit more of a grind if you want to grind it um, i'm starting to get the sense that the developers at blizzard who made warcraft arclight rumble wanted it to be much more of a casual pickup game have a little bit of fun put it down do some of your quests um you know fill out your your treasure um fill out your rewards bars and and and, and be able to put it down and not like hey a race to 60 for everyone because not everyone wants to be playing like 12 to 15 hours on their phone trying to unlock everything um, with that said, though, I wanted to show you what one of the higher level stages looks like, and I will sh first showcase my deck. Uh, I am using the, the Paladin Leader Tyrion Ford Ring um, with the Divine Shield, um, Divine Shield Talent. I find that his Divine Shield Talent, when you team him up with another version of him and a healer, makes for a very nasty combination where they just don't die that five seconds of invulnerability if you can team them up with three well it just is you know icing on the cake and you're generally able to push through unless um, your opponent or the map has a very very strong powerful aoe spell to take down your death ball let's go ahead and jump right on into it i've already beaten the stage let's see if i can do it again um blood mesh that foul nose with and this is all in the scarlet area um and you know i think my character is around level 13 level 14 i believe i'm going up against level 14 characters now and um, still the game is still a lot of fun a lot of frantic mayhem um for those of you guys who are okay let me turn it down the the game sounds a little bit there is left and right um you'll also notice that there are banshees starting on the map on this particular stage and banshees automatically possess one of your characters and you know flips it over to their side so obviously you have to be careful what you what you play down as you're um, over in that area and try and use the possession against them since you are you know you you have human intelligence and are able to reason out some of these things let's go ahead and get started and let's see i want um i want to go Tyrion off over here i think um I really would want to... Wow, I am very surprised. I do not have access to my... Okay, it's going to get end up getting possessed off over there. Okay, there. They're going to actually be able to unopen that. All right, this might actually turn into a bit of a problem for me. If I'm not careful. Okay, let me heal off on this side. And then... Oh. Um, hmm. Okay, so they're going to start firing away. I was hoping that I would get access to my eggs a little bit earlier, um, but no such luck there. Oh my goodness, my eggs are not getting triggered. That's actually very bad news for me. Okay. Wow. Okay, do I have to restart this? Okay, that was a complete bad restart. All right. <laughs> All right, so I knew exactly what was happening, and I still ended up um, falling apart. That's that's not good. All right, let's let's do that again. We hunger for vengeance. Okay, so I do not want him to, but I do not want the opponent to possess my strongest characters. So I'm gonna do that. Place that there. I drop something. He's gonna drop something as well. Um, let's go ahead and reinforce that with this guy there. All right, I'm gonna put that guy there. Uh, this guy here, and then these guys here, and then maybe some of the guy, those guys will get possessed. Okay, let me see if I can get an AOE heal there. There we go. Whoa! 
Come on. Alright, so that was not what I was hoping for. Okay, I can... Oh, that got possessed and pretty much owned there. Alright, I'm gonna place that guy down there. Put in some damage there. Okay, now I have access to the left side treasure chest, which are gonna be huge if I can... Oh, right. Okay, trying to explain too much and getting absolutely work wrecked for it. Okay. Okay. Oh, there, get some gold off of those chests there. Okay. Continuing the fight. Okay. Throw down that. Alright. Okay. 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 Come on, come on. Take down, take down the abomination. Okay, I'm gonna get that AoE damage. Take down the abomination. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're not supposed to possess me back. How did I beat this so easily the first time? I do not know anymore. Alright. Okay. Okay. Okay, fighting back across there. Oh, no. That's not good. Alright, wow. Somehow I was able to beat this quite easily last time, and now I'm having a very difficult time. It's, how was I able to come up with a strategy last time? Hmm. Do, do I just need to yes. cycle over to my... I think I just need to cycle, cycle that there so that it get possessed. And then just let it get the first wave. Is that how I'm gonna do playing this? Okay, let it get the first wave of everything. Okay. And then, come on, get some. Come on, come on. Eggs hatch, eggs hatch. Okay, eggs are hatching. That's good there. I need to heal. That's good. Alright. Alright, so that will go down that way. Oh, good heal there. Push off there. Come on, heal. There's more healing. That's good. Put some gold there. That will get possessed. They will fight against each other. Mine should survive. And then I can start running down this. Oh, no. No, I did not. Okay. okay. So at least I got that. All right. So I'm going to put this right there. That will trigger those guys. No, how did I not? Okay. Okay. Come on. Okay. Maybe I just need a big push in the middle. If I, maybe if I just have a double, double big push in the middle, I'll be able to get around it. Let's see if I can get another. Okay. Yeah. So I have multiple big pushes right there. I'm gonna try and. Oh, uh, save pilot. Nope. Oh my gosh, they got both of those. No. Okay, I just need to overheal here. Maybe I can outheal and just spam the top lane. No, it does not look like that's gonna work. So I'm going to... See, that's the... Wow. Okay, I was able to put a little bit of pressure there. Oh my goodness, I thought I would be able to bounce onto the safe on the safe pilot. Nope, did not bounce onto the safe pilot there. Okay, ogre magis are just so difficult. Can I, can I save pilot bounce there? Okay, he's coming back the other way. That's, and then now he's getting all of that gold back. That's why it hurts so much. Okay. Well, I was trying to give you a, a good video of me winning, but I think you guys can see that how the franticness and what is going on left and right, how possession is problematic. Yep, there goes my safe pilot again. And that is going to be it. So... If you're looking for a video of someone winning all the time, come to my channel. Three straight losses, even though I've beaten this stage before.
first try. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.